Hi guys, it's Danny Keane and this is the look we're going to be doing today. Very bright. Um, so if you want to see how I do it, keep on watching. Hi guys, um, it's a nice bright day outside so I thought why it's, the weather's nice and the light's good in my room, I'd do a brighter coloured look. Um, your first step is to tape your eye if you do it, if you don't then don't worry. Um, I've primed my eye with a Coastal Scents white gel liner all over, just a small layer. Um, what I'm going to do now is take an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, this one and a light eyeshadow. I'm using Max Miele. If you don't have it, then you can use um, a white eyeshadow, anything. If you've got white eyeshadow, white eyeshadow might work better. I don't have a bright white and the one that I do is quite chalky and powdery, so I don't like using it. Um, place this on the inner third of your eye. Pack it on. And then bring it up to the top of your brow bone all on the inside in a corner as well like that you're not really going to see much of a difference because I've got a white base on but it, it does show up later on then I'm going to take a 239 brush if you don't have one then use any flat shader brush that you've got and I'm going to be picking up a bright yellow eyeshadow I'm using max chrome yellow and you're going to place this to the centre third of your eye, overlapping where you put that white eyeshadow. Now you overlap so you get a better fade. Now at the moment you can see a harsh line. Just make sure that that colour is packed on and you're keeping this in on your eyelid. Don't go above your crease. Then take your light eyeshadow again pick a bit up on your brush and blend it over onto your yellow and as you can see it makes the fade right then pick up a bright orange I'm using max rule eyeshadow um, all the eyeshadows I'm using are matte I like the effect that matte eyeshadows give so pat that on again overlapping your yellow only on your lid and come up to that tape if you're using it and then just overlap it turn your brush around to your yellow side and bring your yellow back over and you just basically keep doing that so blend the orange over blend the yellow back blend the orange over blend the yellow back until you get a nice fade um, and just go over your yellow again blend your orange back over I think that looks kind of okay for the moment for the time being then you can take any pink eyeshadow the one I'm using is max sushi flower on a 224 blending brush now start from your tape and bring this in windshield wiper motions up to your brow the corner of your brow right start off white keep blending it over and then add more colour you do want this pink to stand out so keep blending that in blend it out at the top so you don't have any harsh lines as well and bring that to the corner of your brow like that then I'm taking a 222 blending brush and this colour by Pure Lux Minerals it's called Grape it's a very 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 bright purple now take some of that on your 224 brush oh sorry someone said that they don't like me blowing on my brushes they're, the, they're my brushes I don't use them on anybody else and then just push that in to your crease now this time you're only going to bring this halfway. You're not going to bring it all the way across like your pink. So just halfway. Load your brush up because you want it to stand out. And then just blend that in to your pink.
like that. Then you're going to take, well when you're happy with that that's blended in, I'm quite happy with that now. Take a small smudger brush, now remember I use these brushes to place colour. I'm taking a deep plum, shadowy lady, this is a matte eyeshadow again, and place that sort of in your crease but slanting upwards so it's sort of like a slanted cut crease again so place that and that's going up to the middle so where your pupil is measure and that's where it's coming to so you're just placing the colour with this brush like that then take either a 222 or a 217 or whatever equivalent you've got and then just blend that in Blend, 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 blend. Tedious as it is, it pays off. So you can use your circular motions, your windshield wiper motions, whatever motions you find work for you, then do it and just blend until you cannot blend it anymore. Now obviously for length reasons, I can't blend on camera as long as I would without it being 20 minutes long so I try and do it the best I can for you on the video right then once you've done that pick up the exact same colour again and place it again basically concentrating on your outer corner this time though like that and then do the same motions and blend it out again if you raise your eyebrows it does help like so I am going to do my eyeliner and I shall be back Right guys, so this is your finished look, once you've got your eyeliner on. Um, I'm going to be putting a video up on what my how I do my eyeliner for the majority of my tutorials because it just makes my tutorials too long if I include it in. So the eyeliner's on, the mascara's on and just to finish it I just run that purple under my lash line. My face is basically really neutral, it's just got a natural mineralized skin finish all over it, a bit of a shimmery br blusher and a baby pink lip um, so this is the finished look I hope you guys like it if you do try the look out post it as a video response comment rate and subscribe see you all guys soon bye